Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today is our last topic review video of Unit 7 of AP Psychology. Now this is not the last Unit 7 video. Remember after you finish this video you need to go check out my ultimate review packet and watch the Unit 7 summary video. That covers everything you need to know about the unit all in one video. The review video will make sure that you're ready for your unit test and also the AP National exam. Plus in order to make sure you're really prepared it also comes with a study guide, practice quiz, answer keys, and much more. But before we get into the unit summary video we need to talk about Unit 7, Topic 10, Measuring Personality. Now when it comes to measuring personality, we can assess traits that are constant in an individual by having individuals take different trait assessments. We can see some assessments, such as a personality inventory, quickly assess specific personality traits. These assessments are questionnaires, which are often composed of true or false questions, or agree or disagree questions. The goal here is to gain insight into an individual's feelings or thoughts on a specific topic, which will allow for a better understanding of the individual's specific personality trait. The longer and more in-depth these questionnaires are, the more personality traits they can assess. One of the most widely used assessments was created by Stark Hathaway, and it is the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory, or MMPI for short. It was originally developed to identify emotional disorders, but it can also be used to assess an individual's personality trait. We can see that most personality assessments focus on four main sources of information. So far we've been talking about self-reports, but there's also observer ratings. This is when individuals who are familiar with the person of interest give their judgments or opinions on the individual. We can also look at situational tests, which is when an individual is brought into a controlled environment to see how an individual would react to different situations to gauge an individual's behavior, emotional state, or physiological response to the situation. Lastly, we can look at certain life outcomes of an individual, such as their education level, occupation, how they live their life, or other life events. Now, when an individual takes a personality test, we can see that they may take an objective personality test. These are tests that have limited answers and they seek certain responses. Or an individual may take a projective personality test, which are more open response tests and do not limit a test taker to a select group of answers. These tests give ambiguous stimuli to an individual in hopes to reveal their unconscious thoughts. Two examples of an objective personality test would be the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory Test that we talked about earlier in this video and the Myers-Briggs Personality Test indicator which is commonly used, but it's not as reliable and valid as the MMPI test. Two examples of a projective personality test would be the Rorschach inkblot test. This is when individuals will be shown images and asked what they see in the images. And also the thematic appreciation test, which is when individuals are shown vague images and they have to create a story about them. If you notice, the projective personality tests are seeking information that is difficult to obtain with an objective test. Traditionally, projective personality tests will be used by psychologists with a background in the psychodynamic approach of psychology. Traditionally, objective personality tests will have more reliability and validity compared to projective personality tests. And just like that, we're done with another topic review video and another unit. Now, you know the drill, answer the questions on the screen and check your answers in the comment section down below. Also, make sure you go and watch the Unit 7 summary video in the Ultimate Review Packet. Complete the study guide, take the practice quiz, and check, of course, your answers. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.